All right, we need to talk about a few more things, a few different ways that we can access the tools. For instance, we have extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, all that stuff is on here on the feature tab. But if you right click, you also have those on an actual floating features tab here. So it's not everything, but you get a lot of stuff. You get features such as the extrude cuts, you get the solid stuff, you get fillets and so on. So you have a lot of this information and most of the stuff is condensed. So you can see that all the patterns are here, the same thing that you see up here. And this allows you to dock it in certain locations. We can dock it on the right side of the screen. We can dock it on the left side of the screen. We can dock it at the top. Or you can just leave it free floating, even stick it on another monitor. A lot of people like this method of actually dealing with getting to these components. I personally don't. I turn these all off because I don't like to see them clutter up my screen. But a lot of people like them. Just know that you have access to it. Now, most of the time when I access tools, I don't use the feature tab. I use my S key or the quick context menu. So SOLIDWORKS has great functionality here. When you select a face, it will pop up this quick context menu that has a lot of stuff on it. And this is all directly related to your selection. For instance, we can edit that feature. We can edit the sketch that created that feature. We can open a drawing that is based off of this feature. We can suppress it, roll back to that point in your feature tree. You can modify the appearance of the face, the actual feature, the entire body or the entire part. You can copy the appearance. Once you copy it, you also get a paste appearance option here. You can select other, which allows you to select other faces through this. Create a new sketch since it's a planar face. We can hide it. We can zoom to the selection, normal to, and because of our selection process, we can apply either fillets or chamfers to all the corners that are selected. That's all four outside edges and the inside edge here. And this is the same based on your selection. For instance, if I select this edge, it's a much smaller list. I can select other, hide, zoom, normal to, do a fillet or a chamfer on that edge. So very handy and something to keep in mind that when you're doing this process and you have a feature in mind or if you need to start a new sketch you don't have to go over select a plane come up to sketch hit this first and select a plane all you need to do select a planar face start a new sketch saves you a bunch of time the next thing is the s key now the s key is by default the shortcut key in solidworks this is very handy and you can add anything to it and this s quick menu here changes based on what mode you're in. If we're in part editing mode, if we're inside of a sketch, if we're in an assembly, this looks different every time. If we customize this, you can customize it for each of those. For instance, assemblies, drawings, sketches. And what you can do here is you simply pick tools that you want. For instance, I want to go into render tools. I want to do my, let's see here, we want to do a preview render or final render. Let's go ahead and do a preview window and just drag it on here. So now, whenever I do my shortcuts, let's see here, I hit S key, you'll notice that it's, it's located on there. Now this is grayed out because if I go to my tools menu, it's not currently turned on. I need to go into my add-ins menu, actually turn on Photo View 360, and now it'll show me that I can do a preview window. So very handy tools that you use all the time. You'll get used to it when you start modeling the same things over and over again. You'll be able to see that, well, I'm using measure tool a lot, or I'm using the fillet tool a lot, or I really need to do this or that all the time. Very handy. Now, when we're talking about customizing, we also want to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Now, keyboard shortcuts are extremely handy, and I use them most of the time inside of a sketch. When I'm working inside of the part environment or the assembly environment, I use the S key for features, applying mates, whatever the case might be. And I also use a 3D connection 3D mouse. And on the 3D mouse, I have one of my buttons mapped to be the S key. That saves me a lot of time. You don't have to map all the custom buttons. Depending on which mouse you have, you may only have two buttons available. You may have 10 buttons. And it saves a lot of time. You don't want to remember exactly what every button does. If I hold this button down for one second, it'll be a fillet. If I hold it down for two seconds, it's a chamfer. It can get pretty hard and it can be time consuming when you're modeling so using that s shortcut menu can save you guys a ton of time but when I'm inside of a sketch I use keyboard shortcuts for drawing things like lines so if I'm gonna do a line inside of let's see tools you can see I have it mapped to the letter L spline I have mapped to the letter P circle I have mapped to the letter R 
Things that I use all the time also are like convert to construction geometry. That's a big time saver because you can make a selection, hit a key on the keyboard. You don't have to find that icon in the quick context menu. Other things like trimming. I use the trim tool a lot. So I want to just be able to hit the T key and go ahead, do a, a quick trim of something, hit the escape key, get out of that tool. So very handy that you figure out what tools you use all the time. Convert entities is another one I use all the time. I have that mapped to the letter N. So very handy for me to use these inside of the sketching environment. But once I get back out into 3D, I move my hand back over to my 3D mouse. I use that S key shortcut button. Some people like to use mouse gestures. I personally don't, but you can have the available option of four or eight mouse gestures. And this is something that SolidWorks added a few years back. I think it was 2011 maybe. You hold the right mouse button down and you start to move it in any direction and you get access to all of these different options. Now when you're in the part environment or in the assembly environment, it's gonna be view. So it's gonna essentially replicate your view cube here. When you're inside of a sketch, for instance, it's going to show you sketch tools. If I want to start a new circle, I can do that. Or if I want to start enabling uh, converting entities, I can do that. So then I can grab edges and convert those and so on. So it's definitely based on where you are, but it can be very handy. And all you really have to do, for instance, if we look at the views, if we want to remap something, there's a drop down and it shows you the available options for which direction you're going to be mapping that to. So if you guys like mouse gestures, if you, you want to try to get used to them, they can be very handy if you can get used to the, the way that you need to use them.